Hello guys, a very warm welcome to this particular video. In this video, we are going to learn about the custom icons splash screen, how to create that using capacitor and what is the best possible ways and even how you can customize that up. All right, so let's get started with this particular video. So at first I have opened up a new project. I have created that new project basically using this particular commands, you, which is highlighted one. So this is how I've created a new project. And when it is asking me for creating a new Ionic account, well, I didn't go for that because that is Ionic Flow, which is a paid version. So I didn't go for that. And I simply jump in the main code by opening it up in Visual okay. Studio Code. And after that is done, well, I have created a folder out here. You can see, let me just show you. This is the resources folder where I have icons and splash PNG files. And why I have done that, let me just show you right now. So for showing that up, I need to open my browser, which is already opened up out here. And I have opened up capacitorjs.com within that the docs. So out here in these splash screens and icons, you have to go out here. And within that, you will see that the, what these are the instructions for creating splash screens and icons so at first you need to install this particular one if it is not installed you need to install it globally so i have just copied that up didn't i let me just click out here if not clicked and let me open the terminal directly using control plus that uh, that key near one okay what is this called i just don't know you can just get it from here also using these commands all right so what am i going to do out here simply paste the code and hit enter now this will work with capacitor pretty nicely for cordova i think this is pre pre-installed so you don't have to do that stuff right so you just have to run any Cordova resources command uh, as far as I remember. So you just have to do that for Cordova and for capacitor, you have to run these commands. Now this is done. What is the next thing that I need to do? The next thing is to create the resources folder and have the icon and splash screen images. Now the next thing is to create the resources folder and have the icon and splash PNG out here, which I already have in my resources folder. So I don't need to do it. And what images I have taken, let me just show you. I'll reveal in Finder. So this is the Maja it's image, which I have already taken because I have the proper size of it. So icon size is 1024 into 1024 is the dimension. And for this splash, I have, okay, how much it is? 2732 into 2732. 732. That's the size which I prefer for icon and splash out here. So once that is ready, what is the next step we need to follow out here? We need to follow this particular step. So I need to run this one by one for Android and iOS. But before that, I need to create the Android and iOS platforms out here. So for that, I have to go to the capacitor.config.ts file and change the package name, which is very much necessary. So com.techniques. Let me give it flash and I can app any name you can just give it out here and this one let me keep it as custom app only and uh, now let's add the platform ionic but before adding the platform I need to run a command called ionic build to get our www folder otherwise this will not work now we have our www folder getting ready where it is actually <laughs> in the src folder we have it all right so once that is done not in the SRC, outside of SRC only it is available. So it is done. Now I can simply go for Ionic Cap add iOS. And you can see this is added. And out here it is shown that the status bar is already, plugin is already added. So we need to add the splash screen one for using this splash screen. All right. So remember data. Okay. I'll do the same for Android also. Let's do it. Meanwhile, that is being done. Let's see. Okay, I need to run this particular things to generate the resources for Android and iOS. All right, this is also ready. Now what I need to do, I simply need to run this command. So let me simply copy the first command at first and paste it out here, hit enter. All right, generated 47 resources for iOS, 21 resources items to iOS, copied. All right, that's done. Now let's go for Android one. Copy it up, go out here, paste it, hit enter. Okay, there is an error. What is this error talking about? Error occurred while copying resources Android icon. Okay, let me try it again. Again, the error occurred. So now how to get rid of this error? Well, in order to check the error properly, let's go to our Android studio. 
so i'll open it up ionic cap open android all right android studio is opening up trust project okay now out here in the s resources folder in the drawable one there are issues with the ic launcher background and foreground if i just double click on this what is wrong it is not taking up so in order to resolve this problem let me just do one thing i'll right click on a res folder and go to new then image asset in the image asset for the foreground okay i'll have the same name only image i will collect it from from the location of my project i have taken the icon and i'll select that up now you can see it is selected correct trim yes we can trim it up if you want if you don't want you can go for no trimming i think is a better option we can change the color at the back end means the background color we can change background layer color you can change this particular color to the one which we have i think this color is, will be better this is the hex code for that you can simply type this hex code if you want to so i have taken this particular color and i am happy with this particular color now this is looking nice right so let me just go for next and if you want to do anything else you want to zoom or something you can just resize it up from here itself okay but i don't think i need to do that i'm happy with this stuff only if you want definitely you can just go for resizing it up in this particular manner and there are a few more options well you can just check it out okay so i have just resized little bit let's go with this an icon with the same name already exists and will be overwritten we want that to be overwritten that is why i'll just create that okay let's do it this will be the size i'm okay with that now sometimes what happens you have to do it twice at, at the first go it is not taking it up as of now i don't think still it is taking it up if i just hit on the run button also it will give me error if you want let me just try it up for this splash there are no issues uh i'll just show you that part also okay do you want to add the following file to git well not now let me remove it all right android resource linking failed it is saying that so when we get that error definitely it is related to the image asset only i'll go again to the image asset and out here again i'll go to the background change the color okay let's go to next and this time you can see there are hardly some errors this time earlier we had lot of red marks right this time it is very less and i think this time it's going to work so let's go for finish and add this up i'll hit on the add button i suppose this time there won't be any problem let's go for it again let me hit this run button okay add files to git no i think i should cancel it and you can see build successful so there are no issues with the icons now everything is good to go now let me just show you the drawable one so i'll just open it up in in finder let's go for that so it has opened up and out here you can see simply all the splash screens uh, which are changed you can just check click on this and you will be able to see it properly everywhere right everywhere this is looking fine correct out here if you are not happy with this you can simply resize that up little bit with the same uh dimensions which is given out here and you are good to go so this is what you need to do simply i hope it's pretty clear how you exactly need to do all the stuff so this is the only thing you have to perform out here for the custom icons and splash screen and you are good to go so now what i'll do let's open this up again in our emulators and simulators let's see what happens do we get do we able to see the splash screen or not so i'll just rerun it up no cancel i don't want to terminate all right it didn't show any splash screen out here let's try for ios at first uh, with, let's see whether it works out there or not so i'll open it up in ios okay the x code has opened up let me maximize it and out here what am i going to do let me just go to the app folder at first and within that we have another app folder and out here assets so in this if you click on the app icon you will see all the app icons which are pretty nicely set up and for this splash also it is pretty nicely set up now let's run it in iphone 14 pro let's go for that just focus if you able to see the splash screen or not because the icon will show up for sure the important thing is a splash screen okay it has opened up but no splash screen is showing up why is it so because we haven't installed the plugin for splash screen let's go for that and then see whether it works or not so let me open the code and in here in order to work with the splash screen let me just go to the plugin section and out here just scroll down to the splash screen one install it simply to go ahead copy paste it out here now once that is done we need to go ahead for the second one where it is too many things are opened up copy it 
and let me close it for the time being terminate this one also let me just close it and even xcode also i'll just close it stop fine now it is good to go so let me just run the second command okay this is also done now what i need to do next let me just scroll down and there is one simple configuration which i'm going to apply out here which will be this particular one in the ts file i'm going to apply so capacitor.config.ts file we i'll simply apply this stuff and we are good to go so copy this up till here copy it. i will go to this particular file and in here comma and paste it now in this splash screen one launch show duration so it is going to show the splash screen for three seconds if you want to uh, reduce it you can just uh, have it out here you can just go for two seconds or one second as you want then launch auto hide i have set it to true means by default it is set to true out here now the background color well you can simply change it or if you don't want to give it don't give it any color out here now the splash screen name uh, by default it is splash only which we already have it then scale type center crop okay so let me see the default one so out here so android scale type is by default fit xy so i'll keep it as it is i won't change it so i'll just comment this up show spinner i'll not do anything i don't want uh, let me keep let me just have the show spinner as false and spinner style well i don't need it in fact this one also i don't want color also i don't want because i'm not showing the spinner so why to give any other thing out here and full screen true okay fine immersive let me keep it as it is if you do are not sure about anything you can simply check it out here you will get to know what exactly it means okay such as this one hide the status bar on the splash screen doesn't work on launch when using android 12 api only available on android okay fine immersive hide the status bar in the software navigation okay that's the only thing i'll just keep it and the layout name uh launch screen okay fine use dialog well it's only available for android i suppose uh only available for android so even if you don't give by default it is not taking anything so why to give any dialog do we need that layout name also whether it is needed only available for on android so let me just do one thing i don't need this too i'll simply comment this up because i'm using for ios and android both so i don't need that now simply sync the project again using let me go for any cap sync if in fact this that will also work any cap sync now the syncing is done let me open the project in ios at first so i'll just run this particular command any cap open ios and it has opened up let's go for the run button let's see this time what happens okay it is launching and you can see the splash screen right so the splash screen is showing up but it is uh, not showing completely why i just don't understand we have given the proper size for it still it is not showing that up i don't get it uh, maybe you can reduce the size or you can go for center crop i think that will be better let's let me just try it once okay what i'll do out here is uh full screen okay that's fine but uh android scale type center crop i think will be better and this background color let me just give the red color out here maybe that will be working for us so what was the configuration i just completely forgot for the time being let me keep it as fff only uh, later on you can change the red color one i just forgot the hex code so i have to just check it again i don't want to do that right now for the timing let's try with this particular stuff only let's go for syncing again and then i will open it up in ios all right once it is opened up i'll run it again replace the application for sure okay still not working properly what should we do next so meanwhile let's try for android also at first okay let me just cut this and run this particular one in the emulator let's see if it shows up out there or not okay it is not showing up in the emulator let me check it in the real device in the real device i have already uh, seen earlier also it works but it doesn't work in the emulator that's a big problem so i have to connect my android device for checking that out all right now my android device is connected let me hit the run button this is showing up out here so let's see whether it gets installed properly or not and do i see that or not so let me just spin up the recorder also so now the icon is showing up and if i click out here see what do, what it shows i still don't see this or do i see the splash screen it is the smaller one actually it is center crop so it is showing at the center all right so if you just comment this up then it's going to take xy fully 
and that that works for android properly but for ios i just don't understand why it is not showing up i just need to see the documentation for that because the scaling one only available for android or right, that is why it is not working on ios i just forgot that uh, but for ios what exactly we can do i just don't understand because this things works for ios pretty nicely but the ios is taking a uh, different sizes which is not great at all this one is also available only for android android this one android android so all of them are available for android for ios what exactly we need to do i just have no idea regarding this because it is showing properly in our xcode and i don't see any problem in the assets one for the splash you can see that right now we have no other option do we so guys i actually found a solution out here let me just show you you can see out here we have now iphone and ipad also how i got that well you just click on the splash screen and you will get this option along with the universal earlier we only had the universal one so i ticked iphone and ipad also and when i did that uh this were coming up but the images i just kept it out there let me just show you how i did that so for doing that up i went to the browser and out here i simply search for image gorilla app tool now in this you can generate these splash screen and icons for different sizes for android and ios so what i did out here generate your icons and splash screen and for the splash screen you need to pass the size 4096 into 4096 and for uh i can you need to pass 1024 into 1024 so i simply change the size from 2732 into 2732 to 4096 into 4096 because i already had that size so i just transformed it i'm not sharing the code out here guys for this particular video because it is pretty simple to understand i haven't done anything extra out here so i won't share the source code so you simply do that up if you have any query let me know in the comment section so out here i have simply selected this particular one which is having the same size when i selected it up you can see there are a lot of options that are coming up i just went for the ios one because for android we have already uploaded all the stuff we don't need to do anything for android if you want uh, some other sizes for android definitely you can select that also along with the ios one and you can go ahead with this but i don't want that so i have simply selected and i'll hit on the kapow so when you hit that up it will show you the uh, downloaded button if i just do that up again now you see the downloaded button right so when you get this downloaded option and you click on it you the resources will get downloaded in a zip file once you do that up when you extract that particular zip file then you you will get something called the bundle folder and within the bundle folder we have the ios ones and in here the launch images i'll go inside that and you have lot of stuff out here so i'll just select as list okay now what i have done for the iphone this is the iphone one iphone 1x i have passed this particular image just drag and drop let me do it again drag and drop that's it and for 2x i have just passed this particular image and again for 3x also i have passed the same image only if you want to pass something else you can just try it up now for the ipad i have passed a different one and for universal well we have passed the same things only or we i haven't done anything if you want to pass the same sizes you can just do that up which we did while generating the resources all together so i haven't done anything out there so for the ipad one well uh, which one did i pass for one next ipad ipad 2x i just forgot which one i passed let me just check it again all right ipad 2x i think this one i passed it out here and for ipad this is the one for 1x so this are the sizes which i have just drag and drop and that's it so you this is how you can get the resources if you want to once that is done everything is good to go now i'll simply run this up in iphone 14 pro let's see what happens this time i'll replace the application because i already tried it once so that is why it is showing that up and this time let me just check it out okay you see the splash screen is showing up pretty nicely in a proper size so there is no problem now the oversizing or the stretching one is gone so this is how you can solve this problem and get rid of this uh, particular stretch one so i hope you have understood this particular stuff so with this our splash screens and icons are generated successfully for android and ios and this is it for this video guys so i hope you like this particular video if you like this video please hit the like button do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done and do check my courses which links are available in the description and with this i'll wrap up this particular video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye